Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and another episode on the Boxall Corsa. So today we are tackling fitting the cat that's now been welded up. We've got some new bolts there to put on to replace the studs that we've removed. We've got new gaskets. Um, after that's gone on, there's actually a gasket to go between the, the exhaust downpipe and the engine. We've got new stud bolts there from race fasteners. Um, once that's all on, we're then going to tackle discs and pads. I've also got some red spray paint because I don't know if you can see, these are really, really rusty. So I'm going to rub them down with a wire brush, give them a good clean up, we're then going to spray those red. And then finally, the one job that jobs, uh, a job that, um, George has wanted to do for absolutely ages is replace this wing so that'll be the next thing that we do. So to start off, you see me do it a ton of times on this car, I'm just going to jack it up, stick it onto your axle stand so we've got better access underneath and we'll get the two front wheels off as well. Um, once that's all in place and the exhaust is all done we can just finish off the plastic brackets here. Annoyingly one of the retaining pins is missing off the injector cable. Um, and it's really frustrating. I've found a couple online, but they want to sell them like four for like 10 quid. And it's just this tiny little metal pin. So I'm going to see if I can actually fashion something myself out of a, I don't know, paper clip or something. Just see if I can get something to retain it. Cause it just literally needs to hold in the edges to hold that in place. So anyway, enough waffle, let's get cracking. So that's all the um, cat fitted. I've also done the bolts under there, so they're all tight as well. Reconnected our sensor, which if I remember correctly, goes under there. And um, So last thing to fit is the air intake that literally just pushes onto there, goes into a hole here. Underneath that wire, like that, and then there's just one T20 Torx bolt that holds that in place. So, yeah, that's all done. Now, I'm going to move on to the brakes. Okay, so moving on to the brakes, I was going to paint these, but the weather uh, is not looking great, and I don't really want be halfway through doing something and have to go in because it's raining so what I've just done is I've just literally wire brushed down all the loose rust and then you've got big flaky bits of it's only surface rust so there's nothing wrong with it um, other top tip always clean up where you've got these two little grub screws or in some cases you just have one on the disc put some penetrant on there to get that soak for a little while because the amount of times I've messed up in the past and kind of rounded off um, then normally these kind of torques or they're like a hex bolt sorry a hex screw um to basically hold on to the uh, the hub can't speak today um but yeah so ultimately give those a good soak and then when you go to actually take it off get the right size torx bits put it in there this isn't the right size by the way i've used this for something else um and then just whack a hammer on the end just to give it a bit of impact yeah so after giving that advice what well, look what happened yeah it rounded it's because the teeth on it the first one came out really well but the teeth on the other one were quite weak. So in the end, I basically just had to drill a small pilot hole down the center and just tap it out with, where is it? A smaller Torx bit. So just drilled down the center, put that in and out it came. All right, let's get the caliper and the carrier off now and then get rid of this disc. By the way, it's always a good tip undo those bolts before you remove that because then you've got something you can jam in there to stop it from spinning while you're trying to undo it otherwise the thing will just keep rotating around Oh, 
replacement wing has got a couple of little marks on it but I think I can't remember I bought this so long ago I think it was I want to say 60 or 80 quid something like that it wasn't massively expensive um, it's the right paint code anyway there's a tiny tiny little bit of rust on this corner so I'll just do some treatment on that make sure that's protected and this retainer here that connects to the bumper is also broken but I was aware of that I'm fairly certain I paid 60 quid for it because of the condition um, we've got this little skirt bit here which we need to get off the current wing but that's just bonded on by the looks of it with a load of like tiger seal so we'll get that off once it's on the car because then I've got some support and again here it's a little bit rusty but I mean you've got to remember the car's 10 years old um, and the donor car is, you know, going to be similar age as well. Okay, so first step to getting the wing off was to remove this piece of plastic because there's actually two bolts hidden because you've got this piece here that kind of rests against where the two bolts are. So to get this out, remove that retaining clip there and then there was a small T20 Torx that joins the front section to the side skirt and then the hardest bit was hacking away at all of that I mean that stuff is solid obviously I don't care too much about this wing because we're replacing it but if you do have to take one of these off I would highly recommend getting some tape putting it across the top of here and then just using your wedge tool to kind of cut down and get through it but yeah that's off and that was absolutely loaded full of dirt So just to clarify, you've got one bolt going this way, one bolt going that way, you've got two bolts at the top. You need to release the headlamp from the bracket down here, and then you've got two bolts down here underneath the sill. And I think that was it. So yeah, fairly straightforward. So I'll just do the reverse now and fit the new one. Look what I just found. It's our little retaining clip for the wire in the engine bay. So, I'll try and do this while supporting the camera. But this wire doesn't clip in. That, is that right? No, that goes that way around. then no that way oh sorry I'm trying to show you there's the other one that one's got the wire that way I've put it on the wrong way around haven't I I thought it was the other way right Double check this. Well, there it goes. Sorry. Like that. And sorry about this being in the way. Click. Solid. <clears throat> yeah, so this is all bolted up now. Got the alignment, I think, pretty much spot on down the side. 
took a bit of working back and forth. It looks like there's a slightly bigger gap there, but when I went around and checked the other side, it's pretty close. So I'm happy with that. So last thing to do is the brake disc and pads on the other side, which I'm probably going to do in the morning because it's half past five now. Um, and I want to run this up to temperature and leave it on the drive. So I'm going to do that next. So let's get this wheel back on and then we'll run it up to temperature and bleed the rest of that coolant through. With regards to this camera died. So with regards to this bit, I need to clean off as much of this from the back as possible and get this off. I mean, it is like rock solid because that won't sit flush until it's on because it's sitting out. So I need to sort that out, then put a bit of double-sided sticky tape on there. And then that's just needs screwing in with that one screw, which I don't want to lose. Yeah, that's the one, um, that one screw. And then I'll take the clip back out and put it back through here. So then that's this side all buttoned up and done. But yeah, let's uh, get it back onto all four wheels and then run it up to temperature. Okay. This will be the first time this car has been off my drive in, when did we get it? February time, I think it was. It's now May. No, 1st of June. So let's see how we get on. Take it nice and easy. And by the way, just to be clear, these roads are still classed as private because they've not been adopted yet. So I'm perfectly okay. The car is insured. It just hasn't had tax or MOT yet. Brakes work. We'll go this way. Just move in. Clutch, I think, still needs a little bit more bleeding. only replace one brake disc the other one seems to be doing okay I'll try reverse I think we've done it but well, I did it but you know we as a collective me doing the work and you hopefully enjoying what I'm videoing yeah, it's definitely pulling to the right, so we'll have to get the tracking and the alignment done. But to be fair, I need to get these tyres checked out anyway, because the driver's tyre has got a slow puncture, because I can see the nail hanging out of it. Oh, don't worry about it, love. You go in my lane and yours. Um, and to be fair, it picks up all right as well. I'm more impressed with the fact that the last times, last time I changed a clutch, it didn't work so well. And this time, it seems to work fine. Just pop it there, and I'll just do a walk around check for any leaks. Right, so picking back up on the Corsa. Not sure where this is going to fit in on the video footage, but basically I've just taken all the stuff out that was kind of like lobbed in here. This has basically been like a mobile garage storage area for the last, well, nearly six months. So, next step is to give this a really good clean. I say I'm not sure where I finished off in the last video. Apologies, it's been about two or three weeks since the last video, any video footage on the course, but I have potentially got an MOT slot this week. I need to get 
this wheel off and over to a tyre repair place because it has a slow puncture because there is a nail in the centre of the tyre. You will see I've refitted that bit of trim so I shaved off, as you can see, all the remains of it, shaved off all of that kind of backing and then stuck that in place, screwed back in there and clapped, clips back in there, cleaned all the glue residue off the new wing and I've touched up in here so that doesn't look anywhere near as bad where I caught the wing as I was taking, the body as I was taking off the wing. Other than that, just needs a really good clean inside and out. So this is how it looks now. Oh, this is how it looks now. Fairly filthy. And in a matter of seconds, yeah, it's, it's come up really nice. There's a tiny little bit of damage on that door handle. You can hardly see it, it's just where the chrome's come off. These usually get really badly scratched up. That looks really nice. So I think, get the exterior done, and this one's ready for MOT. do not deceive you my hair hasn't grown that quickly after one day it is actually now um, a good few months on from uh, when I completed that video so um, as I stated they were doing that around about the 1st of June um, so the car has now been for MOT there are a couple of uh, delays mainly due to the fact that as you see from behind me all these boxes I'm moving house um, we also bought the Peugeot as a quick flip just to kind of get some different content into the channel and also to bring some money in as well while everything was kind of tied up in the um, Corsa so yeah so that car is good to go so it's had the puncture repair done on the tyre it was dead centre of the tyre in the tread so ideal for a puncture repair and because that tyre has so much tread on it anyway it would have been pointless to not um, just pay for that to be done but my god when did they go up in price so I remember we used to pay like seven or eight quid for a puncture repair it's now like 20 to 25 quid I couldn't believe that it's almost better getting a part worn tire and sticking it on but it was there it got done um, so it went for MOT first time it failed we needed to put some new springs on there I'm sure the eagle-eyed viewers out there will be doing a history check so there were three things it failed on uh, mainly it was on the springs um, headlight beam was incorrect and all it was was the bulb was loose so why they couldn't do that at the MOT centre I don't know um, I won't name who the MOT centre was but I'm not using them again and they also reported there was a fuel leak which I was a bit confused of because I couldn't find anything and when I took it back for another MOT they said there was nothing wrong with the fuel system so I don't know where that came from enough moaning um, but yeah ultimately um, I got Josh out to put two new springs on it because my spring compressors will basically kill me if I try and use those um, got that all sorted out as well um, like I say there was no fuel leak and I just had to clip a bulb back in to fix the bulb um, the pattern of the light how it was displayed so that was a nice easy fix um, I now need to give the car a good clean again because it's been sat around for so long and the last time I cleaned it was in June so that needs to happen um, and yeah, I think that pretty much brings us to the end on the Corsa series. Not quite how I wanted it to end, but I say I've had 
I've struggled to get all the footage and everything else done. There is one other thing that I need to do to the car. Um, when you're listening to the stereo, the speakers in the front, I think, are blown. So I've got a new set of speakers to fit. But I'll probably just do like a quick short video on YouTube for that. Um, and that will get that car ready for sale at that point. So as soon as that's up for sale and out of the way, um, that will bring some money back into the channel. And we're going to set that aside to work on the EOS, which you, all of you will have seen in the back of other videos. That was going to be the next main project, but I've actually decided because our new house has got a garage, I'm going to make that a bit of a winter project and I'll kind of do the reveal when we've got that moved over and across to there. Um, there is another vehicle I've done work on and I've already got all the footage done um, I'm just doing the final bit of editing on that now so either next week or the week after there'll be another new car reveal video um, and that one is another quick flip quick turnaround something different um, and I've, I've you know learnt more from doing that video again but without saying anything I don't want to like, take you away from watching that video anyway enough waffle and I am waffling again um, if you've enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up. If you stuck through all of those different episodes on the Corsa, then please subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Share it on your social medias. And without anything else to say, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.